for business or pleasure. The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. Who? Look, can you just cut to the chase already? What's this about? His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. What? Why would I do that? You have come this far already. Threats are useless on me. I've heard it all. the hell? You're one of the authorities? Then I'm already sunk. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. 
Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Is something the matter with you? Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. You've already ruined our scheme. What else do you want? gotten enough out of me already? You again? This better not be another shakedown.
directed to one of the staff. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. An open bar would have been nice. But Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Hello. You here for the charity event? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's a bit outside my wheelhouse. I work for UC Security, so I don't think I could be of much help. I have nothing to do with Galbank. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Hello. Are you a member of the society? Hello. Are you a member of the society? view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? I certainly hope they decide to hold all the pictures of I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar is gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. This is one of Trident's premier Starliners. That means it has the best of everything, including a triple redundancy life support system. They installed a backup for the backup. Luckily for us, it will still trip an emergency and everyone will have to return to their quarters until I sound the all clear, which I won't. Don't worry, it'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Get back to it. Don't forget.
forget to keep your star view pass handy at all times. You won't have access to the wall. I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you that the is off limits to passengers. Wait a second, your Captain Rock calls guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry, that area is off limits. No exceptions. No, sorry, I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without a valid reason. Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, it's just that I could lose my job, you know? Hey, if your heart's set on it, who am I to stop you from staring at a bunch of life support machinery? Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a shipwide. You're working emergency. for Ikande's little anti pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, 
Why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? I don't know where you got that information from, but it lines up with all the troubles I've been having getting my cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone, and Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry, but if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. The siren of the All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation, do you? I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. <laughs> Au contraire, my misguided friend. There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out, and you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that All you desire something May I have personal for me. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you I receive see. further instructions. That certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Well, I'm surprised you even posed that question at all. The answer is quite obvious. The last thing I'd want to do at this point is call attention to myself. Obviously, that wouldn't be my preference, but I have little choice. Hmm? Though, Larry Dombrowski will be mysteriously vanishing after this cruise, and possession of the credentials becomes ludicrous at that point. Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. 
Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course, I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Emergency. Good day. Please report your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive... No. Please. Uh. No. Please. Uh. emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I'd risk my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Quicks is legacy. Are you serious? I heard Delgado was spinning that yarn, but I thought it was more of a hobby with him. 
have things really gotten the best of me. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dobovich. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Turn to their cabins at this time. I need to pack up and get out of here. What is it now? 